this just sucks. <laughs> Can you believe this is the world we live in? No, it's criminal. How is it possible that Donald Trump is a nominee for president of the United States? Oh, not what I was reading. <laughs> Did you know that the guy from Fifty Shades of Grey had an ass double? This is what's upsetting you, that there's a butt double in Fifty Shades of Gay? We talked about this. Fine. God, it really is upsetting. I know what you mean. I, everyone said I was going to see Viggo Mortensen's Wiener in Eastern Promises, but it's a fight scene, so it's really hard to nail down. No, 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 I'm talking about Trump. Oh, sorry, talking about the wrong dick. <laughs> I, I, I can't even talk to somebody if I know that they're going to vote for him. Oh, please, you said you'd make Bang Bang in the Rotunda with Paul Ryan. <laughs> Yeah, but there wouldn't be a lot of talking. Which is, which is ironic, because he's Speaker of the House. <laughs> See, if Anderson Cooper were my husband and living here with me the way he's supposed to be, he'd be cracking up. Make America bueno again! Karen, what are you doing here? I thought you were out of town. Oh, we had to come back early. Stan had to have something drained from his new anus. tell you, we just had such a fun weekend at Mar-a-Lago with Donald and Melania. You know, it really is one of the most beautiful places on earth. The azure blue of the sea, the verdant green of the golf course, the mahogany brown of the staff. <laughs> you know, it's the little things they do that just really make you feel at home. Please tell me you are not voting for that guy. All, all he does is call people names. Call people names? Grace, did you hear what your pussy gay Muslim boyfriend just said? The closest person in your life, Rosario, is a Mexican-American. And the things that Donald Trump has said about the Mexican people is so offensive. She's not Mexican, she's from El Salvador. What's the difference? <laughs> that Donnie is one of my oldest friends. Oh. I helped him pick out Melania. <laughs> and I love what he's doing with Rosario's people. How do you think I got the idea to have Architect build a wall to keep her out of the main house? That is horrible. It's not horrible. It's just not high enough. <laughs> well, she got out twice. Who knew El Chapo was cleaning my toilets? By the way, Rosario called me. She's suing you. She's not suing me. She owes me. I sent her to college. You sent her to Trump University <laughs> to study dusting. It's what they teach. Do you know she's in a wheelchair? She fell off the wall and broke her ankle when you fired that warning shot. If Hillary had her way, I wouldn't have that gun, and I would have had to use my cannon, and Rosario would be dead. In, in all seriousness, you, you really have well, to think well, about... Well, don't waste your energy on her. It's all going to come down to undecided voters in Pennsylvania anyway. Right, right. The unemployed, uneducated, angry white man. Do we even know anyone like that? I am livid! <laughs> you know, if... If Jack was a man, think what a coincidence that would be. Live it, I say! What's the matter, Poodle? Brad and Angelina announced their divorce the same week my relationship ends? Selfish! Why does everything in there look 10 years old? What happened? I was dumped by Dakota. Blindsided. And not in a good way. Nothing worse than a selfish lover. What did he say? Nothing. He texted me. <laughs> did we ever meet young Dakota? Not sure, Care. Uh, coffee smellier, lives in Brooklyn. No. Has a miniature horse named Ann Coulter. <laughs> Makes internet videos with Ann reacting to popular culture. The most popular one is with Ann giving side eye to Rachel Maddow. No? It went viral. No? There's another one where. Shut Anna... up! We don't know it! Jack, you're voting for Hillary, right? Of course he is. Don't pigeonhole me. 
Not all gays think alike. Oh, I oh, forgot, forgot to ask, ask did you, you see Ryan Lockie get, get attacked, attacked on Dancing with the Stars? <laughs> oh, honey, I knew you were one of those weird fags that was on the Trump train. I didn't say I was voting for him either, Care. Huh? Weren't you hot? <laughs> well, who are you voting for? I don't know, Grace. Maybe I'll stay home on December 1st. <laughs> Wait, you have, you have to vote. No, it is un-American not to. But does my vote even matter? I mean, how can one unemployed white fella registered in Pennsylvania make a difference? <laughs> you say you're registered in Pennsylvania? Ah, oh, that's such a long story. I was seeing this guy in Pennsylvania, and we registered to vote there. I feel like there's a chunk I'm missing. You understand that, that, that Pennsylvania is a very important swing state. Oh, you don't have to tell me, girl. <laughs> Honey, if you don't vote for Trumpy, there will be wars and monsoons and locusts and hordes of brown people pouring over our borders from every direction. I mean, it's one thing if you're sitting in the audience in Hamilton, but do you really want to see those people everywhere? <laughs> a black guy playing George Washington. As if a black man could ever be president. This is the most important election of our lifetime. Not hers. Lincoln Douglas was the big one. You know, Hillary has done everything, Jack. She has been a two-time first lady. Pfft, I've been a two-timing first lady. She has been a senator, secretary of defense. State. State. Blah, blah, blah. I'm glazing, I'm bobbing. She is going to appoint justices to the Supreme Court who are going to ensure your civil rights. Yeah, but I don't like that she wears pants. <laughs> okay, Jack, Jack. When I was a little girl, I didn't think that I could ever be president. And do you know why that was? You're not photogenic. You think Gorbachev was a side dish at the Carnegie Dillon? Your people killed Jesus? Because no woman had ever been president of these United States. And I can think of no greater message to send to millions of little girls and little boys who are going to be little girls and little girls that are going to be little boys. That if you work hard and dedicate yourself to serving others, that one day you too could hold the highest office in this great nation if you help elect. Hillary Rodham Clinton. You. Just you. <laughs> will be a part of the America that finally shattered that glass ceiling. <laughs> oh, tell it all. What's it gonna be, Jack? All right, all right, all right. I'm, I'm thinking, I'm pondering, I'm weighing, but I still haven't heard the one thing that'll convince me to vote for one candidate over the other. Katy Perry likes Hillary. And bingo was her name out. <laughs> Sorry, Care, I'm with her. Talk about a basket of deplorables. 